So here we are again to talk about Maxwell default materials, how to set them, and uh, how to get away from the native default, which is that rough, gray, render-killing material that Maxwell automatically wants to put on everything. To give you a sense of what that material looks like, let's start with just a quick little uh, preview render here. I'm going to um, just check out what the environment settings are. I'll leave it on Sky Dome and I'll actually just turn on the sun. And for once, that uh, default preset of New York City makes sense with our Highline model. So I'm just going to run uh, this with Maxwell Fire and see what we get. So here we are. It's it's the gray day. Um, you can see that uh, in this model there are a couple of materials that are assigned to the layers. This glazing layer and uh, what else? The Highline bed layer. Everything else is, has nothing set to it, so it's all just running the default material, which is this gray. Um, it's often reads as kind of pink when you print it, which is super unfortunate. I'm just gonna pull out of the model a little bit so that we can kind of get a sense of the whole context. So often you don't have time to set a bunch of materials and and uh, kind of deal with texture mapping and all the rest of it. So it just makes sense to have a default material that at least reads a little brightness, a little clarity, um, and can sort of help get you through a less than completely prepared presentation. So if you go into the output of the scene manager, you'll see that there is a little zone called materials and inside of there if you don't see it by the way it could be closed it's likely to be closed underneath export materials um, underneath that you'll see there's a default and if you click on the folder then you can browse to a default material to set I made one in a previous uh, instance but I'm actually gonna make it again it's just so you guys can do it for yourself as well so go into the materials tab right click select new material and you'll notice by default we get this very gray very dead material that's the material that gets assigned to everything in your model if you don't do anything about it and we want to move to something that looks more like that to do that we just uh, go into the BSDF change the reflectance zero to white And um, I'm going to give it just a little, a little bit of gloss, sort of a semi-gloss paint. So to do that, I just turn down the roughness, and I'll turn that down to 85. And you'll see that that's catching the light a little bit more. We're seeing a highlight there. Uh, I'm going to name this material. To do that, I can either double-click on it there in the Scene Manager, or just name here, and I'll name it... Uh, Tutorial, material, or even better, why don't you guys do this? New default. That way you won't forget. Uh, I'm going to close that out and then go back into this little folder icon in the scene manager. Materials, default, click on the folder. Oops, sorry, before we do that, we have to export this material. So let's go back there. New default, right click on it and export selected. You're going to want to navigate to this folder which is local disk, program files, next limit, Maxwell 2, material database, MXM files. And then in here we'll type new default. Click save. And now go to this output tab in the scene manager and click on the folder. And we'll see that there is now an MXM called new default. Um, Maxwell's nice enough to preview it for you. You could set anything you want to be your default. You could have black leather be your default material, but we're going to choose this perhaps more applicable 
white material. Click open. And then we'll click refresh scene. And there we go. White. This white material gives you a lot more latitude in terms of brightness. You'll see as it fills in, we get, get more and more variety across these surfaces where we're picking up direct light here and less direct light there. Um, we're getting more reflected light off of that surface there. That little bit of shine will bring a lot more definition to your model. Uh, just to give you guys a sense of how this looks. Otherwise, if we switch from sky dome to physical sky, this white material will reflect the color of the sky a little bit more, reflect the color of the environment a little bit more. So if we were to change time of day, it'll, it'll update. And then, of course, if we turn on the sun, it's a whole other beast. So nice default white material gives you a lot. Now, we're still seeing this glass and this green as um, separate materials, right? Because they're assigned by layer. But in that same output folder, we have the option of overwriting uh, all the materials in our scene with a, diff with a default material. So I'm going to do the same thing in here. I'm going to select the new default. And then... As you see now, everything in the scene is the white. So this is really great for massing. Um, it's really nice, actually, when you're just trying to track shadows in your model. So you'll notice that if I, like, for instance, click on the top view, actually, I'm just going to actually send that to the viewport. So now I can read the shadows and um, read the edges. And if I wanted to, you know, quickly make sun studies or get a sense of how light falls, this is often much easier with a single material than if you have a bunch of different materials on. And um, of course, as I rotate, the shadows rotate and so forth. And the shadow studies come pretty quickly this way, especially with the fire preview. So that's setting a default material. It doesn't have to be the shiny white. Maybe you want your whole scene to be aluminum. I don't know. But it's a lot easier than trying to assign each uh, layer, and of course, much, much easier than trying to assign each object, which could kill a man. Also, just as a note, you know, sometimes when you're previewing things like this, it can look a little blown out. And that is, does have to do with the, um, you know, the processing time. Uh, in Maxwell Fire versus the processing time in a real rendering. So why don't we do this? I'll uh, I'll actually send this thing out as a render and, and give you guys a sense of what it looks like after a minute or so of rendering. Of course, the Maxwell Fire window is uh, immensely helpful, but it's not the whole story. And being able to you know dial in the ISO deal with the shutter speed, um, of course, can add a great deal to how your imagery reads. And here you see now we're getting this definition as the light reflects off the surfaces and we start to read the edges. Um, all that kind of stuff doesn't happen when you're using that default very rough material. You don't get that level of definition. Also, just as a side note, often uh, even yetting is really useful so you don't get that kind of bright halo in the middle of your scene. So there you go. That gives you a little sense of uh, what that new default material can do for you. Talk to you later. Bye.